evaluative criteria are the attributes, features, or potential benefits that consumers consider when reviewing possible solutions to a problem. A feature is a performance characteristic of an object. A benefit is a perceived favorable result that is derived from the presence of a particular feature. Benefits play an important role in the value equation. Remember, value equals what you get minus what you give. A feature is a performance characteristic of an object, and a benefit is a perceived favorable result derived from a particular feature. The difference between hedonic value and utilitarian value is hedonic is more emotional and utilitarian is more functional. Effect-based versus attribute-based evaluations. Effect-based is when consumers evaluate products based on the overall feeling that is evoked by the alternative. Attribute-based is when alternatives are evaluated across a set of attributes that are considered relevant to the purchase situation. When consumers have the ability to consider all possible solutions to a problem, they do not always do so. This is because they have to consider rationality, effort, and variety for all choices. Superordinate categories are abstract in nature and represent the highest level of categorization. Subordinate categories are more detailed. An example of superordinate categories is a beverage, and an example of subordinate would be colas, sports drinks, or juices. Perceptual attributes are visually apparent and easily recognizable. Underlying attributes are not readily apparent and can only be learned through experience with the product. For example, the perceptual attribute of a pomegranate would be that it's round and it's red. The underlying attributes would be that it's full of seeds. The type of criteria that consumers consider when making a decision depends heavily on situational influences. For example, if a product is being purchased as a gift, the buyer may pay close attention to hedonic attributes. Product knowledge is also important. If a consumer is already very informed on a product, they will not have to seek out other people's opinions. For example, a college basketball player would be able to quickly discern what information about athletic shoes is important. Expert opinions also play a huge role because brand experts have well-developed knowledge banks for products and services. Essentially, they can be used to help others determine what types of information to pay attention to when evaluating their products. Social influences are important because we all have seen through our own aspects that friends, family members, and reference groups have an impact on the type of criteria that we consider. Online sources play a role as we look through numerous websites for assistance with information on product attributes and brand differences. Marketing communications are also important because marketers assist consumers in deciding what features to consider when buying a particular product. The accuracy of a consumer's evaluation depends heavily on the quality of judgments that they make. Judgments are mental assessments of the presence of attributes and the benefits associated with those attributes. During the evaluation process, consumers make judgments about the following. The presence of features, the feature levels, the benefits associated with the features, the value associated with the benefit, and how objects differ from each other. There are several issues that affect consumer judgments. We will review a few of these issues here. The first issue that affects consumer judgment is just noticeable difference. Just no noticeable difference is how much stronger one stimulus must be compared to another if someone is to notice that the two are not the same. The second is attribute correlation. Attribute correlation is the perceived relationship between product features. The third is quality perception. Objective quality refers to the actual quality of a product that can be assessed through industry specification or expect expert rating. Perceived quality is based on consumer perceptions. The fourth one is brand name associations. Brand names have an impact on consumer judgments. Unusual product names also influence consumer judgments. The fifth is consumer personality. Personality traits affect consumer judgments. There are two major types of rules that consumers use when selecting products. These two rules are called compensatory and non-compensatory. 
One example of a compensatory model is the attitude toward the object model. This model gives a formula that allows for poor scores on one attribute to be compensated by good scores on another. Non-compensatory models can follow one of four rules. The conjunctive rule assumes that all features must meet or surpass a mental cutoff of 5 in order for a product to be selected. The disjunctive rule assumes that the consumer wants a product that excels at any of the features. The lexicographic rule assumes that the product that is thought to perform best on the most important attribute is selected. And last, the EBA rule assumes that a minimum cutoff point of 5, once again, is chosen for the consumer to begin with the most important attribute. The use of decision rules is important because these rules allow consumers to simplify their thought processes. However, these rules are also used in high involvement purchase situations. For example, the decision of what car to buy is certainly a high involvement decision for most people. Because of this, consumers can combine decision rules in order to arrive at a final solution.